Today we're making tuna samosa. Things you're going to be needing, two cups of flour, shifted. That's my two cups flour. Half teaspoon salt. One and a half teaspoon vegetable oil. And half cup water. Okay, we're ready to prepare for samosa. We have shift flour, two cups, and we're going to add up salt together to our flour. We have our flour and salt. We're going to make a well in the middle here. And add our oil. To our flour. All right, we have our flour, salt, and oil. Now we're going to get our water. Do a mix of a little water at a time, not too much. I'm going to try to make a nice dough. Mix well. And mix your water as needed. Okay, we're getting our dough here. Make sure your dough is firm. You can use a little bit of oil. A little oil if needed to. See, so won't stick. To make a perfect dough, you can go and punch in and use some oil to get it softened. Okay, when your dough is ready, go ahead and set aside. Cover for about 20 minutes and, let, and set aside. Okay, we're ready to do our tuna filling. So we have two canned tuna in water. We're gonna go ahead and cut this and drain. And we're ready to do our tuna mix. We have two canned tuna drained, one chopped onion, one green chili chopped, one teaspoon ginger chopped, red powder, half teaspoon, red chili powder, quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, funnel seed, half teaspoon, half teaspoon chopped cilantro, and few curry leaves chopped, two tablespoon oil, and half teaspoon salt. Three small potatoes chopped. Okay, we're ready to get our filling ready. We have our tuna filling, so we're gonna go ahead and add our oil to our skillet. Medium heat. Add our curry leaf to our oil. And add our funnel seed and garam masala to our oil. Mix. Already our onions, add our onions to our oil here with our curry leaves. Mix. And we're gonna add our ginger, turmeric powder, chili, and a chopped chili also at the same time. Add more oil, you can add another teaspoon full of teaspoon full oil. Add our salt to our mix. Cook under medium heat. You have your onions turning golden brown. Go ahead and add your potatoes to your mix. Stir. Now you're going to go low heat. Make sure your onions and your potatoes get mixed well. Getting our potatoes sauteed, we're going to go ahead and wait till we add about um, three or four tablespoons of water. Okay, potatoes coming out really good. So we're gonna go ahead and add our water to our mix here. Sit on the low heat. Before we add our tuna, we wanna make sure our potatoes are well done. I'll let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes until my potatoes are well done. Yeah, potatoes coming out really good. So we're gonna go ahead and add our tuna to our potatoes. We have our Tuna, adding to it as well, and cook for about five minutes. Get our cilantro to our mix here. Okay, it looks like our tuna filling is all done. So we're gonna go ahead and get it off the stove and let it cool on the side for a little bit, about ten minutes. We're ready to roll our dough. So we have little doughs here, and out of that we're gonna make a flat dough here. Then we're going to use a rolling pin to make in a shape, moon side shape. Okay, roll your dough in a smooth moon shape. And here we have a samosa cutter. 
I'm going to be using my samosa cutter. So once you have your dough all rolled up, so we're going to go ahead and place our dough on our samosa cutter here. This is the first layer on the bottom. This is about a bottom layer. So we're going to do another roll for the top layer before we do our filling. So we do another roll right now, moon shape. We have our second layer all rolled up. So we're going to set it aside before we place it on the first layer. So we're going to go ahead and do our filling, our samosa filling. I use about two teaspoonful of your filling on your dough here, rolled up dough. Nice. On a little shape to order your samosa cutter, go ahead and email me. Be gladly to get your orders in for your samosa cutters. Go ahead and fill in all the fillings right here all the blocks. We have our samosa filling all filled in. We're ready to place our second dough on top of this. Place your second dough on top of your filling. And we're going to use a rolling pin to roll over it. So make sure you get a perfect fit there. And it's, if you notice, we're getting a little cut right there, lining. Our samosa cutter is doing the cutting right now. Keep on rolling. Perfectly done. There you go. Once you finish rolling, you're going to have your ends cut automatically. It's going to start losing. Take your ends off. And we're going to flip our samosa cutter upside down. Shake a little bit. It automatically comes out. Once you drop it upside down, you're going to have your samosas all cut in shape. And now we're ready to fry our samosas. And you also can repeat the rest of the samosa the same way. And now we're ready to deep fry our samosas. To fry our samosa. We're gonna add about two cups of oil to a fryer here. Wait till it gets ready. Ready? We're gonna go ahead and plate, uh, place a samosa in a hot oil here. Be very careful. I'm placing your samosas one at a time. Give some space putting golden brown you can go ahead and turn them over and cook the other side uh, samosa is coming out really good we're gonna go ahead and get our samosas out let it cool for a little bit and then we're ready to serve and here we go we have tuna samosa stuffed tuna samosa Came out really, really good. I'm garnishing with cilantro and serving with chili sauce, sweet chili sauce, and that's my sweet chili sauce. Delicious appetizer for any occasion. Again, thank you very much for watching. And if you need to place your orders for samosa cutters, please email me. Thank you.